222 day. We will talk about Velo, Stellar, and XLM, and their ties into Solana, which were recently called out in a high level roundtable hosted by Paul Barron, who referred to Velo as a potential worldwide phenomenon, which I do not consider to be hype because he has 995,000 subscribers on YouTube and puts out a lot of quality content. Personally, I have not ever gotten into Solana too much just because of all of the FTX-related drama. However, it appears as if they have improved a ton, and especially when you see them more and more associated with Elo and Stellar, it has prompted me to begin to look into it a bit more. In the case of Velo, Stellar is essentially acting as a layer zero. Hawana is kind of an L1, and Velo is kind of an L2 here because it is the protocol that is being implemented in specific applications where Hawana is providing settlement and Stellar is kind of acting as the record keeper. There are some particularly interesting connections in between the three as it relates to Fireblocks, which is specifically called out on the XLM graphic of connections here. What the innovation that we did with Thai Central Bank currently, we partner with Solana and Fireblock. So currently we can send USDC on Solana to, um, to the Fireblock wallet of any commercial bank in Thailand, and central bank treat that as US dollar one-to-one, -one, uh, which means we can send um, USDC in real time, and the bank then would debit into any Thai bank account, basically across 50, 60 million uh, bank account in baht in real time at our wholesale FX rate. So what that means is that uh, we, uh, if MoneyGram is our customer, they no longer need to pre-fund with a Thai bank, they can just send us USDC, we then send USDC to the Thai bank and in real time that money would be basically mass payment to any bank account in Thailand. And we plan to scale this throughout South Asia, so hopefully we can save MoneyGram at least hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. Velo has been increasing its marketing and exposure and over the last few weeks it has had a few of these AMAs, which appears to imply that some things that have been kept under wraps and probably under NDAs are beginning to be put into effect. And right after I was told that Velo will have a couple of more AMAs before the end of the year, they went out and announced two more. Velo has been tweeting about Ripple and the XRPL, which I have already speculated on. They have also been tweeting about Stellar and XLM and all of the capabilities it has, which coincidentally comes out right as they are talking a lot about their universe trading platform coming online. And just to kind of recap what the Paul Barron Roundtable talked about, he did a really good job of steering the entire conversation and providing a ton of opportunities for the representatives of Velo, Alana, and Stellar to provide a ton of information. They began by talking about Stellar and stablecoins and tied that into the digital gold project specifically. It kind of appeared as if the emerging markets end of things, which has been a concentration of Stellar for a long time now, has kind of acted as a proving ground before rolling out this kind of infrastructure in the US or in Europe and other countries. They talked a lot about smart contracts, which is something that Stellar can now provide as an O1. They also talked a lot about DeFi and how Velo is trying to become a bridge asset and create an end-to-end -end supply chain in financial transactions. Velo talked a lot about crypto to fiat liquidity, which was called out as an example 
of what they are involved in with the Thai central bank. So at this point, I want to talk more about the continuing involvement of Solana with not only Velo, but also Stellar. And Velo has also been tweeting specifically about Solana and what it is able to provide. Once again, Solana is extremely involved with Velo in the digital gold project, which is tokenizing physical gold. Solana Wallet have also been incorporated into Velo's universe platform to enable stablecoin deposits. Velo has been collaborating with Solana ever since the early days of every network, which I haven't talked a lot specifically on at this point, but I do have some content to put together on that one too. One of the really interesting technical aspects of Solana is with Fire Dancer. And the article here is a little bit more technically involved in terms of development. However, it is designed as a protocol with the ability to process over 1 million TPS. Turning to Solana and Stellar here, I have been saving some information on common ties. One of the most potentially important connections here is because of Allbridge, which is a cross-chain bridging platform. It was talked about in July of 2023, and after Stellar's 2024 Meridian conference, they were talking about developments and updates. The partnership with Espresso Cash provides users worldwide to be able to deposit or withdraw crypto through MoneyGram. Here is the Allbridge site. And it primarily talks about cross-chain stablecoin transactions, which is not all that sexy at the moment, but with where they are headed, particularly with Stellar and Elo, stablecoins will be at the core of the public-facing financial infrastructure. Their core platform is for stablecoins, and their classic platform includes a lot of other assets. But when you combine that, with Stellar's involvement with Axelar, which is also specifically involved with Velo and Solana. The Velo, Stellar, and Solana connections seem to provide a ton of value. And Axelar also spoke at Meridian 2024 on the topic of how Axelar is integrating Stellar's Soraban smart contracts.